Hi, this is Gina. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a cute, fast little project and it's making these adorable coasters. For the base, I'm using a sandstone tile I got from the ReStore. So first I'm going to cover it with gesso, covering it all over and then drying it. I dried it with my heat tool because as you can see there are tons of little crevices there and it's not quite as bright as I'd like so I went over it using some white acrylic paint and I actually put a couple of layers on. I really tried to get in there and get all those nooks and crannies covered really well. That's why I did a couple of coats. Now while it's still wet I wanted to add a little bit of color and I'm going to put my image on but I didn't want it to just have a plain white background so I thought yellow might be nice looking back I probably could have made it a little darker but I just wasn't sure at the time so I opted to stay a little on the light side I'm gonna blend it just a little more adding a little more white paint and then I'm going to dry it with my heat tool the image I'm using is one that I made by using a stamp on tissue paper and then adding some pigment. And to be honest, I can't remember if I used watercolor or markers. I kind of think I used markers. But anyway, since there was room down at that bottom left corner, I decided to add a sentiment. So I just wrote beautiful on some tissue paper. Once I decide on the placement, I'm going to adhere it using some Mod Podge. And the Mod Podge I used is glossy. So it has a really glossy sheen to it. The brush I'm using is an actual Mod Podge brush. They sell them and the bristles are really firm. And it came in pretty handy in trying to get the bubbles out. Of course, you have to be really careful. This is just tissue paper. So uh, really take care when you're putting it down and trying to go back and forth to get the bubbles out. There was a wrinkle or two left, but I just didn't feel like I wanted to, to pursue trying to get it out in fear of ripping my image. So now I'm adding my sentiment on and it's just blending right in. Just a few touches and I'm going to dry it. Taking a look at it, I thought just to be sure, I'll give it one more coat and that will make sure it's all sealed up. Put some felt on the back and you have a great little coaster. This is a quick and easy project. I love how it came out. I hope you do too and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for stopping by. I'd love a like and leave a comment. Let me know if you try it. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!